Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we're going to continue learning out of our new method book on the trumpet with line 15, Eau Claire de la Lune. So if you look at the beginning, as we always do, we start with our, our treble clef, and that just tells us where our notes are. We've been learning this. We have our four four time signature, so there are four beats in every measure, and the whole note gets four beats. And so we will always do the math to figure out how long to hold each note. So we have one whole note in the very last measure of the second line, and that gets four beats because the time signature tells us so. So half of the whole note is a half note, and half of four is two. And we have half notes in measure two. We have one half note and a half rest in measure four. And then again, in measure six, we have the same two half notes. So we have half notes at two beats. Half of a half is a quarter. Half of two is one. So when we color in the notes, they become quarter notes and they get one beat each. So now we are starting on a C and we have three C's in a row, they're open. And then our fourth note is a D. So we have to be looking out for that change. We change to the D and then we go straight to an E on the first line and that's first and second vowel, we give it two beats. And then we go to the D that also gets two beats, first and third valves. And then we are looking for patterns. So in measure three, we have open C, skip up to the E on the first line, and then we have two Ds in between, their first and third valves, and then we land on the C and we give it two beats of sound, and then we rest for two beats. Well, then when you look to the next line, hopefully you have noticed measure five, is just like measure one, measure six is just like measure two, measure seven is just like measure three, and the only difference between measure eight and measure four is that we end with a whole note instead of a half note half rest. But the notes are all the same, and up until the last measure, all of the rhythms are the same. So we are going to go and play line 15 Eau Claire de la Lune. One, two, ready. <laughs> That's how you play line 15, Eau Claire de la Lune. I would recommend if the third measure of each line is giving you any trouble, isolate one or two notes at a time, like the C to the E. C, E, and try playing that. And then maybe add the next note. C, E, D. And once you have that, well, it's pretty easy to add another D, and then you can look ahead and see that you end up on a C. C, E, D, D, C. And then you can isolate and put that together. So for anything that gives you trouble, just break it down into smaller, more manageable pieces, and then put those pieces together when you're feeling better about it. So I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.